record. All right, so this is going to be how to import an image into your Maya scene. Okay. Um, so what you want to do is you're in your viewport. You want to press spacebar to go to the four way view. And we'll go to the one, this one right here, because it says front, right? We're going to deal with this one. I'm going to press spacebar right here. Spacebar. Oh, you know, you have to click actually the screen to make it work. So tap. Oh yeah, if you can see, there's like a little highlighted box. So just in case that doesn't work for you, you'll know why. So you tap it, spacebar, now we're in here. Now, I wanna bring my soju body, in, I mean bottle, into my scene. So I'm gonna do view, uh, image plane, import image, right? I click on this. Uh, what was it? Download Soju. Now, my scenes. Uh, I mean, not my scene. My image is here, right? Now, if you notice, you see this black line right here. This means this is our floor. This is like zero. So I don't want it to be in the middle of my floor. I want it to be above it. So I'm gonna press W for my arrow, drag it up, and there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press space bar again and I'm going to press space bar again, just so you see. So this is what we're seeing right here, right? This image is now in the viewport. Now remember, it has to be in this orthographic view. When I say orthographic, it means like directly to the left, right, and all that stuff, right? Now something else I want to see, I want to know where this is at exactly. So if I bring my sphere up and I bring it to the right, I know if I'm looking at this, that sphere is to the right. Oh wait, so go on this one. Perfect, all right? So it's looking at it this way, from this way. And what I wanna do is, I wanna push this back here. Now I want you to know something. I'm pushing it back here, but if I press space bar here, and I'm pushing it back here, this is the view we're looking for. So just know that it does not change the way it looks. The farther you push it back, it's always gonna stay the same. But watch this, if I bring it forward, you see, it'll go and it'll uh, make your geometry disappear because now it's in front, you're looking at this. So that's just something to note if you can't see your stuff or something's weird. So pushing it back does not do anything. It's still gonna be just as nice. So I'll just push it right here and do this. Perfect. So this is how you import uh, the image in. Now let's, uh oh, something else to notice too, to note. If I click right here on this, let's say this is too bright or if it's too overwhelming or uh, yes, yeah, just, you know, too much for me. I'm gonna click on my image. I'm gonna click on attribute editor. Remember, if you don't see a tribute editor, it means that this isn't pressed. So this is a tribute editor. This is modeling. Oh, all that stuff's still there anyway. Well, anyway, so this is it for you. If I want to uh, tone this down, I can just go to alpha gain. So alpha, uh, I've come to my, my own term is, is like fully on, fully opaque, and then it's fully transparent. So if I can mess with this to turn down the, uh, the brightness, uh, let's see what these do, I forget. I know they do something. Okay, that just like washes it out. Um, and what does this do? Okay, this kind of does the same thing in a way, but in another way. Oh, okay, so this right here is like total visibility and this is like the whites, I guess, almost. Cause it's still there. This is kind of nicer. All right, anyway, enough playing around with that. So I kind of like the way I'm looking at it. Cool. I should probably compare that against the shape instead. So I'm gonna click on the cylinder and now I have the cylinder right here, all right? I think it stands out pretty well. I think I got it in a good uh, dim tone. Um, I'm gonna press space bar and press space bar again. All right, I got 10 minutes. 
so this right here is good resolution. And by resolution, I, I mean the edges, the jaggedness, but I think I can, uh, I can size this up some more. So let me click on my cylinder. I will go over here. And remember, if you ever get confused, it's the third one, or you can just click through all of them. That's what I used to do when I first started. I never remember which one had the shape controls. So, yeah. So subdivision axis. So it's got 20 edges right now. Let's make this uh, 36 just to do it, all right? Just because it's a little bit rounder. It's not too round, you know. She could do it like that. Yeah, let's do 38. Let's hold it. All right, uh, so that's gonna be our, uh, yeah, that's gonna be our resolution. I'm gonna press spacebar now. Now I'm here. And if you, in case you forgot, if you press four, it's transparent. I mean, it's wireframe, five is solid. If you ever forget that. And if you also, if you look up here, if you click on this, this does the same thing. So this is transparent, solid. When we put textures on this, this is like texture. But for now, we're just going to use a uh, transparent solid. So I'm going to, how I like to do this is, I like to start this off and see how it's right in the center just with this bottle. I mean, just like the bottle. So everything's perfect. I like to press R for scale, right? And I, if I'm in Cinema 4D for those people, if I click and drag anywhere, it'll just uniformly scale. With this program, you have to click in the middle. So I click in the middle and I drag up, all right? And this thing isn't gonna change between a certain spot. So I think this is it probably about here. Perfect. So I'm dragging it down. Um, oh yeah, here's one thing to note too. So I just duplicated the cylinder, so I have two of them. And the reason I did that is this. If this is like this, because y'all are gonna do this. If this is like this, and I want to get this to be as wide as this bottle, do not scale like this, thinking you're getting you know, something good. And the reason why is, is because it scales like this. So if I scale from the side, which looks correct here, but is actually correct in, I mean, incorrect in this view. So what you always want to do is scale from the middle, uniformly scale. And then if I need to make that, you know, shorter, I'll go like this. That's how it will still keep its perfect roundness. And it's all good. So remember, do not, I mean, we will do it in this view. Do not do this thinking you're correct always from the middle. Okay. All right, so let me delete this, go back to this view. So now that we have our, uh, our cylinder right here, we need to um, say extrude it, right? So I'm gonna right click, go to face. And this is how I'm gonna select the faces. There's a few ways we can select it. I can select the face like this. I can go click one time, hold down shift, 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 Shift. Do I want to do that 36 times? Hell no, right? I do not at all. I want to get that whole thing at once. Here's four for wireframe. There's five like this. So what I suggest is you just take your selection, select over this, and look what it did, right? It grabbed everything. But now we hold down control and we deselect all of that. And now we just have the top. Made no sense, I'll do it again. I just want the top. So I use my selection. If I press four, we can see what it is. I'll select all of this, which selects everything that was within that square that I selected. I hold down control and now I just have the top. And the reason I do that is because I do a control E or shift right click extrude. And then I just drag with this. So I'll drag it with this. And if I ever want it to be wide, I just press R 
because you can also quit the tool by turning it by clicking uh, R or T. Oh, wait, 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 I'm sorry. E or R. So if I press um, R, it's going to give me my scale. And now I can scale it like this. One thing to always note when we're making these bottles, you always want to scale from the middle. And I know you're probably like, yo, you said that a thousand times, but trust me, somebody's going to come in here with some bottles that are looking like this. Um, all right. So what I'm going to do now is Wait, wait. How do I do this? 